Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lewis Shenanigans of 1977. It's Thursday night, and you know what that means. It's time for the TNA Wrestling Events Center. And now here's the man that always makes an impact here on YouTube, Eric M. Lima. Thank you. For, thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima's Shenanigans, 1977, 1353 of the show. How's it, how's it going, everybody? Oh, everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful night. Um, this will be, um, this will be a two-fold episode. This will be talking about all TNA, and as you know, um, tomorrow is Rebellion. This is the, um, last, uh, this is the last TNA episode until tomorrow's Rebellion. As you know, I will make my, make some picks, picks and predictions. And, and instead of pulling out the whole, um, uh, no, the whole uh, board that I usually do. I am going to uh, basically um, let's see. And I'm going to basically. Oh, that's right. Holy crap! I was realizing it. I mean, you had did it on the other side. Holy mackerel! Anyways, I should have jumped these. But I got my um, picks and predictions right here in this little pad. I will go over the matches and I will tell you and. And just show them off to you guys. And this is what I would do. And that's what. So, okay, we're not supposed to do that yet. Duh. Okay. Duh. Mm. You, you would, you would think, you would think. All right. And so, um, first and foremost, we had a great uh, rant and rave. Um, I did got off my chest a little bit, and you know, people would. So yeah, Wolfman Thirty Eight X. If you're watching my YouTube channel, this is what I do. I am a professional wrestling fan. I'm a fan of the WWE, AEW, and. TNA. I like watching professional wrestling, and I do reports on them. So uh, that way, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to do this to prove to you that I am that I am a wrestling fan. So, I yeah, I've likened to um, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller to be the Beavis and Butthead of the WWE because I think it's funny. But you kind of took it the wrong way, brother. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, so yeah, Wolfman Thirty Eight X, dude. Please watch my channel. That way, you'll know. That you, you you know there there is proof that I do like watching the WWE so, but I also report on the other organizations as well because professional wrestling as long as it's on TV and I can watch it, I can uh, report on it. That's what I do. All right, uh, let's check it out. Um, let's check it out now. Josh Alexander joined on commentary to um, to kick off TNA with um, Tom Hennepin and Matthew Raywald, formerly known as Tom Phillips, named in English by the way. As Guido of the FBI went up against Hammerstone, and uh, you know, went up went up against Hammerstone, and then Hammerstone starts picking on Ray Jazz and uh, Zach Clayton at ringside, which prompted the referee to eject them, uh, eject them both, and then and and then, but despite Guido's effort. Little Guido's effort to um, to try to defeat Hammerstone. Hammerstone was just too too strong for him, and ends up winning the matchup, and ends up confronting uh, Josh Alexander in the end there. And then asked uh, by Elegance and George the Iceman, the con the personal concierge of asked by Elegance said they'll be at Rebellion at the matchup. They'll be scouting the matchup, and whoever wins, watch the back and then Brookside and interrupts them, saying you cheated and all this. <clears throat> so, so there's that. <clears throat> and they had a little bit of argument. Now, Jordan Grace did um, address Steph Delander. As you know, and it'll be a, pow a battle of powerful ladies. So, in that matchup <clears throat> for the Knockouts Championship, Joe Hendry uh, uh, cut a promo on Rich Swan and AJ Francis, aka First Class. Before his matchup against the debuting LSG, Leon St. Giovanni, and Hendry did end up winning that matchup. We want a trio's matchup. Jake something teamed up with Cody Deaner and Rhino to go up against the Grizzled Young Vets. That's uh, Zach Gibson and James Drake and Mustafa Ali, the exhibition champion. And by chicanery, Mustafa Ali and the Gr Grizzled Young Vets ended up winning the matchup. Steve Macklin kind of a promo on his return to TNA at Rebellion. He's going to be there. Who's he going? Who's he targeting? Is he targeting Nemeth? Who knows for sure. And Eric Young decided to look at his own dark side when the violent when he was part of Violent by Design, 
and he says, I might need you again. And again, you know, discussing about Frankie Kazarian. And it seems like to me, he's getting that violent side out of Frank, uh, out of it. And Frankie Kazarian's new attitude. Eric Young says he may have to go back to that dark place when he was part, when he was the leader of Violent by Design. So that's something, <clears throat> so that's something to, um, to look out for. Meanwhile, uh, uh, in one-on-one -on -one competition, Jody Threat went one-on-one -on -one with Rosemary, and uh, Rosemary ended up did end up winning that matchup. Again, Jonathan Gresham opens up at a meeting again about you know being shameful and all that, and he's staring straight as Octopus Self. You know, well, the octopus. I don't know what the transformation that Jonathan Gresham is going through, but it's going to make him more dangerous down the road. We'll see what happens there, and and if that's the case, and if the metamorphosis of Jonathan uh, Gresham is complete, who is he going to target? Is he going to target the cha the world champion or X division champion? Who, you know, or is he going to recruit somebody that understands him and become a tag team partner? We'll find out for sure. So we had tag teams. The main event, the tag team titles were on the line in this matchup. Uh, the system that's Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers with Alicia Edwards in their corner defending against the Motor City Machine Guns. Now, there's a rumor going around that the Motor City Machine Guns may end... This might be their last matchup, but the Motor City Machine Guns may end up heading to AEW. If that's the case, will they appear at Dynasty? Who knows for sure anything is possible at this rate and point in time. And, and then, I guarantee you, though, I guarantee, I guarantee you, though, it's going to get bowling shoe ugly for sure. If they end up in AEW, because I know the Young Bucks will probably go talking them, Top Flight, all these other great tag teams, so they could fit right in. Who knows for sure? Like even Veterans of the Ring Wars, Chris Saban and Alex Shelley. So the system, uh, even Alicia Edwards got involved during the matchup, slapping uh, uh, one member of the Motor City Machine Guns. I think it was Chris Saban across the face, but the system does retain the TNA tag team titles. And then finally, Nick Nemitz addresses Moose. Moose comes out and looks like a little showdown and a stare down between those two. Looks like the women's, that means the, the world title, though, is going to be very interesting for sure. Now, let's go to the uh, picks and predictions I have here for TNA Rebellion. Uh, as you know, um, two matches will be on the countdown to Rebellion as Leon, uh, Leon Slater, the newest signee to um, TNA, uh, teaming up with uh, ABC, that's um, Ace Austin and Chris Bay, to go up against the Rascals, Zachary Wentz and Trey Miguel, and Myron Reed. And uh, also the Knockouts Tag Team titles will be on the line. Spitfire, the team of Jody Threat and Dane Luna, the champions. Defense against Decay, that will be the team of Havoc and Rosemary. Full Metal Mayhem matchup, Eric Young one-on-one -on -one with uh, Frankie Kazarian. Joe Hendry going one on one with Rich Swan. The exhibition title will be on the line. Mustafa Ali defenses against Jake Something. The tag titles will be on the line. The system. Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers defend those titles, along with Alicia Edwards in their corner. To go up against defending them against Speedball Mountain. That will be Speedball Mike Bailey and and Mr. Mustache Mountain himself, Mr. Trent Seven. Ta uh, the K knockouts title on the line. Jordan Grace defends against Steph Delander. Last man standing matchup, Josh Alexander going up against Hammerstone. And the world title, Moose, defends against the wanted man, Nick Nemeth. So, who are my picks? Let's go for those, those two matches on the countdown. Uh, trios, uh, six-man tag action. Leon Slater, ABC versus the Rascals and Myron Reed. Rascals and Reed, they're going to cheat their way to victory. The Knockouts tag team title, Spitfire versus Decay. I see Decay wins the titles. Full Metal Mayhem, Eric Young versus Frankie Kazarian. I pick Eric Young to win the matchup. Joe Hendry versus Rich Swan. AJ Francis is going to be in Swan's corner. He's going to get involved. It'll cost Joe Hendry the matchup. Swan wins that one. Mustafa Ali defends against Jake Something. Jake Something could, could knock on anybody that stands in his way at this rate. It going to GYV. I see Jake Something up and Ali to become the champion. Tag Tiles on the line, the system versus Speedball Mountain. Alicia Edwards is going to get involved. Unless you get Mike, Mike Bailey calling his wife Beta Scott to help him, but Beta Scott's only a calling commentator. I believe the system is going to walk out with the go. Knockouts title on the line, uh, Jordan Rakes versus Steph Delander. Matt Cardona is going to somehow get involved in this matchup. 
so one way or the other. It will help stuff to Lander beat Jordan Grace. And then the last man standing, Alexander versus Hammerstone. Alexander will do whatever it takes to beat Hammerstone. So I picked Alexander, so Alexander to win. But then finally the world title, Moose versus Nick Nemeth. I'm picking Nemeth to win the whole thing. So, that is all the time I have on this channel. Um, on, not this channel uh, on this show for today. On this channel, of Eric, let me see you again. It's nineteen seventy-seven. Tomorrow, we got the game of strategy, luck, knowledge, and daring. I just queued it up just in case. Bullseye, We're talking about SmackDown and NXT level up. Just a, a little footnote here that the Chilling with Jordy on a series I usually watch SmackDown and cover. Next, um, starting every Saturday night at eight, Chilling with Jordy will be on. So I'm really excited about that, and it's a good idea. I support this idea. I think it's a, a wonderful idea for sure. So, so you got SmackDown NXT level up, and also Saturday you got Collision and Rampage before AEW Dynasty. And I'll make my prediction predictions on the prediction predictions on those. That's all the time we have on the show. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Episode one thousand three hundred and fifty-three of Eric Lee Machine of nineteen seventy-seven. So um, I will and again once again a shout out to. Wolfman 38X, please, please uh, check out my channel. Just so I prove to you that I do like the WWE. I do wa like watching the WWE. All right, unless you're trying to communicate with someone else, then if I make a mistake. So I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful night. Good night. God's blessings to all of you. And until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, Dwarf of Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.